What is going on everyone, welcome back to another video on the channel and happy new kit day everybody. Hopefully you've been lucky enough to get your hands on one of this first batch of 50,000 that have come out and throughout this video I'm just going to give a little bit of a reaction to it, reaction to the video and just some more info that's going on about the club. So I don't think there's any better way to start off this video by talking about our loyal and fantastic support yet again. Over 40,000 season tickets bought and over 20,000 MyJairs memberships have been bought in the middle of a pandemic when most people are struggling for money and we're still putting our hands in our pockets to give to our beloved club and it is absolutely amazing to see and I swear we are the best fan base in the world and there really is not a team like the Glasgow Rangers because in the middle of this pandemic and we are still showing that much support, it's incredible. So from the my jails and the season ticket money alone, combine them and you're roughly at about 25 million being pumped into the club already and that's before the shirt sales, that's before sponsorships, that's before Europa League money, that is just from straight from the fans going into the club and that is unbelievable. And of course I need to add in for the Celtic fans who will inevitably be watching this video and commenting their rubbish down below, not bad for a skint dying club eh? I'm going to now jump into a little bit of a reaction to the video that Castle released, or well, Castle with Rangers, to promote the actual kit itself. So if you've already seen the video and if you're not interested in watching it again with me, then just jump forward in the video two minutes. Okay, let's get into this. When a chap loses his heart to an ideal, above his heart, blue. I'll tell you, the goosebumps have started already, they've started already. Blood coursing through his veins, just a wee boy. May have been Dad and son route, I like it. Going for the fields. He's the sea of blue on the Colton Road. A lot Rangers. We are the fabric of this club. So, see when that first came on? I thought it was going to say we are the effing people. That was like literally, am I bad for thinking that? It's literally the first thought that came in my head. Let me just skip that back like a little minute. You know what I'm talking about? We are the f- We are the fabric of this club. <laughs> His mother would say, Aye, he'll grow into it all right. He's seen us crown the champions. He's seen us fall to knees. His support never wavered. As we rose back to our feet, our journey is his journey. With every game, our family grows. I'm, oh, I'm almost crying on video, Reese. Come on. Grow up. Grow up. Come on. We will take back what we are owed. We will reclaim what's ours. As times change. Like that, we will take back what we're owed. We will claim back what is ours. <sighs> Tell you, if you weren't a Rangers fan before watching this video, you would be just watching this. This is a brilliant video so far. Evolve and we it's what's inside that counts, they say. But we know what's outside means everything. Son, we are the people, and this is our era. <sighs> I decompose myself. Well, that video certainly got the blood pumping and the juices flowing. Well, that's one way to describe it anyway. But you know, as soon as that video came out, people were flocking on the way to try and be one of the people to get their hands on the first batch of 50,000 kits that have been released. So your two ways to do that is on the Castor website or through the MyJers link. If you go and purchase it off of the Castor website, it's been confirmed that you do not get MyJers points if you go and buy it off of the Castor website. You need to do it through the MyJers link that you should get in through your emails. And I know I've seen on Twitter that a few people haven't been getting them and I think they're maybe delayed getting out to some people, which is quite unacceptable to be honest, especially since MyJers are meant to be getting a priority over other people. But... I've seen a lot of people as well queuing online at the Jers store online, like where Hummel's stuff and all that was sold. Do not buy your stuff from there. That That isn't money that's going to your club. Yeah, okay, they might have some nice range of stuff and you can buy that if you want, but do not think that that money is going into your club because it's not. You should be buying from Cash Store or the Rangers site, the Rangers links. If you want the money to go straight back into the club. And this was a queue on the Jazz store online this morning. I wasn't going to buy anything. I just went on because other people were saying there's a queue. So I went on and grabbed this screenshot to show. And just make people aware that if you're buying from there. Just to let you know that your money is not going straight into the club. So of course I've had to go on myself and order my top. And I've posted that all over online. Because you know that gets you extra staunch points. When you post it online to show that you've bought the top. You know what I'm saying. But 
The only bad thing about it is we need to wait another month to get it, and it's going to be a long wait, but I'm happy. I'll still wear my Hummel gear until then because, well, I don't have any cast on until then. I've seen a lot of people asking the question as well, saying if I'm someone who's carrying a little bit of extra weight, what should I do with the size and what's the size and like? And Castor have put out and they've got it on with the kits saying they are made to be quite tight fitted, like the muscle fit top. So me personally, I do enjoy those types, but I know people don't. So they are advising if you want it to be a bit more loose and a bit more baggy, then definitely go a size above. So again, after this morning and everything that's happened, you're left again thinking, is there a point in me buying my jars? Because... Yeah, you got an email an hour early, but you didn't get to buy it an hour early. You got a preview of a video an hour early, which people ended up just posting all over social media anyway. And then people who don't have my gears can just go onto the Castor website and buy it just at the same time as well. So I'm not quite yet seeing the benefits or everything to do with my gears. And of course, it is only a new membership. It's going to take a lot of trial and error. But when people are paying 50 quid and told that they'll be getting priority, they should be in my opinion. But of course, nonetheless, all of these 50,000 kits, you know, will be sold out. They're probably sold out by the time I've released this video. And then from all of them selling, that's 3 million straight away out, bang, straight to the club and cash store. And then, of course, there'll be other batches coming in the future because this one will sell out in a day. And it's just money galore coming at the club right now. Fantastic. I have seen as well people question about the infant kits, like you can't get kits for toddlers, etc. And I'm not going to take credit for this, of course, because it's someone else. So I'll just put the tweet on screen now that Castor have confirmed in the near future that infant kits will be coming out if you're looking to get them. I'm going to talk about the actual kit itself now, and it is very, very similar to the Hummel one that got released last year. You can see them both side by side right now. So put down in the comments what one you prefer visually to look at. But Castor, like they've said, their clothing, I don't personally know yet, they rave about how good it is, how good the material is, how nice a fit it will be. So hopefully that puts it up and beyond the Hubbles. At first look, very, very similar. It's hard for me to pick a favourite. The last season's one had the little Rangers badges throughout it, and then this one's got almost like little tyre tracks, like going diagonally across it. And then on the back as well, which I put on screen now, it fits perfectly with see, just the Rangers red, white and blue scarves. It be pretty much, if you're wearing a scarf, you can line that up perfectly. I know there'll be a lot of people going OCD crazy when that someone's walking in front of you and it's not perfectly aligned and all. Now this kit design we did see a while ago because there was a leak which has turned out to be pretty true of a concept kit idea which was the home kit on screen now and you can see that pretty much is the kit. So going from that, there was also leaked at the time the away and the third kit. So these on screen now are probably not 100%, of course we do not do not know until that's officially released, but these are more than likely going to be our away and third kits. My final two things to quickly go over in this video is Morelos, the State Rangers and the nets that went up in Ibrox, like behind the goals. In my opinion, Morelos, like there was a big scandal because he changed his Twitter header or something to something un Rangers related and then he wasn't involved in any of the photo shoots and that at Rangers for the kits but to me that's just because he was on maternity leave, he was obviously looking after his newly born child with his wife helping all that and that to me is why he wasn't there of course I don't know the insides and outsides so to me I would guess that's why he's not there and I 100% believe that he will be staying here and raising his child here at least for a year and then looking at his options next summer. Because this picture was doing around in social media, and to me that just means that they're going to be up for the behind closed doors games, so that the ball isn't going up into the stands and having to chase them, because from previous games and the games that are on right now, there's no ball boys, they're just balls sat around the pitch, so, so to save the players running into the stands, obviously to try and get the ball, that they've just been put up for now, but then once the fans are back, I'd presume and I'd hope that their nets are not permanent, because they are hideous for the fans behind the goals. But that's going to be all for me and this video. I'd like to know all your guys' thoughts down below in the comments of the video, of the kits. Have you got your kit yet? Let me know down in the comments below. But another series idea, and I've said it a few times now, but I've got iBooks IQ ready and waiting to go. I'm just sorting out a few things, speaking to some people and trying to get some better prizes sorted than what I had before to make it more interesting for the people that are actually coming on to have a shot at it and for the viewers to watch as well. 
and as well the subscribers on the channel just keeps on creeping up and up and I haven't been as consistent as I would like to be just obviously with the break in the football right now so I appreciate the support massively for new people that are coming on the channel still subscribing and all you people that are still watching at the end of this video I would appreciate it massively if you could leave a like on the video we've been smashing the likes lately but that's going to be all for me in this video hopefully it won't be long until I get another one out for you but again thanks for watching we'll catch you in the next one